Hey guys, and welcome back to Economics and Comics. I'm your host, Bill. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, I do new comic book day videos, early access stuff, keys of the week, grading, pressing, uh, movie reviews, and videos like this. All types of different stuff. So I hope if you enjoy this video, please check out my other ones and sub and throw me down a like. So. I did a video of the top five keys of 2018. A lot of people like that. So I thought I would do a video about the top 10 selling comic books, sold comic books of 2018. So we're gonna go down from 10 to one, and then I'll show you my favorite book out of the 10 that I enjoyed the best as in regard to a read. Um, out of all of them, which one I enjoyed the best. And it's a tough pick, uh, but there's one that I like the best. Um, also, these stats are from Diamond Distributors. Now, they are the main distributor of comic books to all the stores all over the place. So, they would know. Uh, now, regardless of what books made more money is not the key here. And most of them... In the top order they are also in the top order for money there's a couple that are different this is just the top selling books of 2018 from 10 to 9 so the most copies sold whether it be the first print variants and I'm guessing it has to you know it includes all the variants and everything like that now a lot of these books you're gonna already have expected to be in the top 10 uh, mostly because when comic book places marvel dc they reboot a book number ones always sell really well so that's their little secret what they do that's why they keep rebooting to sell books even if they're not that good so what we're going to go go ahead and do is go down the list from 10 to 1 and you will see according to diamond distributors what were the top 10 best selling books of 2018 I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, like it. If you're new, sub. If you want, share it. That would be great. So let's go. First up, we have Amazing Spider-Man number 799. Okay? So that was with the uh, Norman Osborn's uh, grandson or son? I don't know. Uh, with uh, He bonded with uh, the Red Goblin. So that's a key, but... I'm not really going to go into the keys. I might. I mean, just because it's in my head. But number 10, or uh, number 799. And that was a great cover, of course. And a great run there. The Spider-Mans from, uh, you know. And, of course, Alex Ross was doing all the covers and all that. and um, But it was a great run up to 800. And it's to be expected that this book would be in the top 10. So that is number 10, my friends. And while I'm doing this, you can go ahead and guess in your mind what you think would be next, okay? So we're going to move on to number nine. The Batman Who Laughs, number nine. Or, <laughs> I keep getting it messed up, guys, but it's number one. Excuse me. Um, great book. Uh, it's well-deserved to be in the top ten. And what's great about it is it, it, it just came out right at the end of the year. So that really says a lot for that book great book okay so number eight amazing spider-man number 798 first full appearance of the red goblin at least with uh bonded with norman osborne and uh of course i remember that year everyone was waiting which is the book which is the book that's going to be the first full appearance people were buying a ton of 796s people were buying a ton of 797s and what it was was 798. So of course, Spider-Man and Batman and all that will be in this list. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to number seven. Venom number one, highly anticipated run with Donny Cates. That is an excellent book, and it is really killing it right now, uh, within the Marvel universe and for a lot of comic book lovers. I love that run, uh, and that is a great great book well deserved of course it's going to be in there venom is a super popular character 
and uh, it's deserving it to be in there. Okay, here we go. Number six, Return of Wolverine. Now, I have to say, the Hunt for Wolverine and all the crossovers and all that stuff really, really frustrated me. And especially, and this is what drives me crazy, guys, and this could be a whole nother video, all the variants. This book had a million different variants. The cover was almost exactly the same, and it was just a different Wolverine character. Uh, but of course, Wolverine is so popular that everyone bought this book. Now, whether it be all the stores ordering it or not, whether they sold or not, uh, well, uh, yeah, they did sell. So it is number six of the top selling books of 2018. Um, you know, I just, I'm not going to get into that stuff. But it is number six, and it is Wolverine. So what do you think's number five, guys? You ready? Here we go. Amazing Spider-Man number one. Now that was after, what was it, 801 was the last issue? And then it rebooted at number one. And of course, it's a number one. So everyone had to buy it and start over again. So basically, number one is actually, and you can see there below the number one, it says Legacy 802. So it's 802. And of course, you can expect when it gets to 900, it's going to be hot. And when it gets to 1,000, it's going to be hot. And that's how it works. That's how the game is played. And apparently, they just have to keep rebooting. And, uh, of course, they're going to. So that's number five on the top sellers uh, for 2018. Let's go ahead and move on to number four. Fantastic Four number one. Now, i got to admit, uh, you know, they just, in my mind, besides the original Silver Age, it's almost like the movies. They just can't get it to work. They just cannot get it to work. Um, I don't know why. But of course, everyone's hoping and pulling for Fantastic Four. We all love it. Uh, and it was a number one. So that's how it works. That's how the game works. But interesting enough, it was number four on the list for Fantastic Four. And I'm telling you, this is the order in top selling for 2018. So we're getting down to the top three. Here we go. Number three. Batman number 50. The whole wedding between Catwoman and Batman and the buildup for everybody in the world to be let down. And everyone bought the book. Everyone got the variants, me included. I got a bunch of variants, the Jim Lee variants and all these goodies. And that book was extremely hot. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of people were very upset about it. Uh, but of course, Batman number 50, the possibility of Batman and Catwoman getting married. Oh my gosh, let's all go get it. And they had hyped it up quite a bit. So it is number three. It is Batman. Let's go ahead and move down to number two. Amazing Spider-Man number 800 was number two. <clears throat> now, if I remember, that was a $10 book, was it? Either $7.99 or $10, I can't remember. I think it was 10 Now, they had a bunch of variants, and I have to say, it wasn't that bad. Uh, there was a death in there. It was a good book, I thought. And, of course, it's number 800. Whenever we get to a big number like that, they're hot sellers. They always make them expensive, and they always make a bunch of variants. But, of course, we all wanted to know what was going to happen throughout that series. And it was the conclusion issue. And, uh, you know, it's Amazing Spider-Man. Of course it's going to be up there. So, you guys, I'll give you a couple seconds. What do you think was the number one selling book of 2018? Got it in your head? Were you right? Here we go. Action Comics number 1000. The landmark issue. 1000 issues of Action Comics. From number 1 all the way to 1000. Well deserving of being the number 1. Uh, so many Superman fans out there. Of course, that was also a giant book. And there were a bunch of variants. And everyone had to get 
10 different variants of it. It was a landmark issue, number 1,000. And Superman's number one. Thousand. <laughs> so, not a bad list. Uh, you know, whether they were key or not, and whether they were good or not, those were the top selling, according to Diamond Distributors. Now, what was my favorite read on that list? And I honestly, honestly have to give it to The Batman Who Laughs, number one. This is a great series. I am really enjoying it. It's opening a lot of doors. The Batman Who Laughs is an incredible character. We've got the Grim Knight in there. Alternate stuff. It's a great book. I would suggest if you haven't got on Batman Who Laughs, go for it. It's wonderful. So, I really and hope that you guys enjoyed the top 10 selling or sold comics for 2018. That was them. And I'm sure a lot of us got a lot of them. Uh, my pick for my favorite read, of course, was Batman Who Laughs number one. You know, going down the line with Amazing Spider-Man and stuff like that. Of course, Venom. Uh, that was a tough call. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new, please sub. If you like it, please like. If you want to share it, please share. And there you go. Your top 10 sellers from 2018. Have a good one.